is a product review for Hacks Natural Barbecue Sauce. It is gluten free, 100% preservative free. It's GMO free. It's also a barbecue sauce that is made in small batches here in the United States. So one of the things that I will tell you about this product is that this flavor is the habanero pineapple. And if you're somebody who's like me, who do not like a lot of spicy food, or you're not really someone who needs a kick out of their food, I would use this very mildly. It has a good taste. It has good flavoring to it. Um, the bottle itself is glass, so it is quite heavy. And I can tell you that a little bit of this product definitely goes a long way. I'm using it on chicken. I'm roasting chicken and then I'm going to use my um, silicone basting brush and I'm going to brush this um, on top of the chicken. You can also use this on the side as a dipping sauce. So if you're, like I said, some pieces of chicken that I'm going to make, I'm actually going to put this on top of it. And then there are other pieces that I would probably be more inclined to eat that I'm going to use on the side as a dipping sauce only because I'm not a fan of really spicy food, not because of anything with the flavor. The other thing that I liked about this product is that I'll take pictures as well and I'll put it on the side. Um, I didn't have to go through a lot of reading to identify that the product itself was actually gluten free. Um, this particular bottle, I believe the price point, I would like to say was maybe $5.99. But uh, definitely not too much over that. And I picked it up at Whole Foods, but I'm quite sure that if you go online, you could probably find this on Amazon or it may even be in Trader Joe's. And on the side, there's a little bit of a blurb here about the inventor of the product. And he talks about how he was always the guy behind the grill making the sauces and the things like that and that's how his business became um into start which is a good thing i like to hear the back end stories about things and how people actually found their passion or actually found their way into developing a product so overall taste i give i say the taste is very good the habanero is not too overwhelming but I did say it does have a little bit of a kick, but that's just my personal thing. I don't like spicy things. So if you like spicy, you're definitely not, definitely not going to find this to be too spicy. The pineapple flavor was there. It was not really overpowering for me. Um, so it's very subtle. But overall, I say that the barbecue sauce is really good, thick, good, thick, which is good because sometimes when you get old natural products this they're a little bit runny it still has a consistency of a regular non-gluten free non-natural non-preservative barbecue sauce that you would find in the supermarket at a cheap cheap price point so i definitely say that this is actually a good find and something to consider trying at least once thank you for watching the video i'll put pictures of the um food that i'm preparing as well as pictures of the product bottle so that you'll be able to recognize it have a good day.